you all here today. We're filming this so that in case I'm not here, this will be my replacement. <laughs> so the first thing we do is we take our right hand, we make a fist, that's a hammer. Left hand is straight, that's a shield. We bring the knuckles to the palm. We bow to me, your teacher, and to each other to acknowledge all of those people who have done Tai Chi down through the thousands of years. And that's the best part. That's when we acknowledge everybody. So we begin by stepping out. This is what we call a horse stance. Our knees are just a little bent. The shoulders, the feet are shoulder width apart. We bring our hands up like we're hugging a tree. The shoulders are relaxed. And we begin by breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. Fill up the lungs. Big exhale. Just relax. your mind be still and quiet. Just let go of everything. Don't worry about what you did before class or what you have to do after class. This is our time to just relax, let go of everything, let go of all the stress. circle stretch. We're just going to roll the hand and the foot. We're going to start at the bottom, work towards the top. We're lubricating the joints by moving the joints around. We're stretching the tendons, strengthening the muscles. saw a lady on TV the other night. Somebody sent us a, an email and it was called Drinking Wine. And she comes out whirling a hula hoop and there's a bottle of wine and glass on the floor. And so she whirls it around and she has to figure out how to, she always has the hula hoop going. So she's mm -hmm. 
trying to uncork. Luckily, the top just twisted off of the wine. So she gets the wine open. Then she has to pick the glass up, and she has to pour the wine into the glass. And the hula hoop is kind of around her neck, and then it's around one shoulder. She kind of gets one arm up in it. And she finally does get a glass of wine. She spills a little bit of the wine. But while she's doing this, she picks up another hula hoop with her foot, kind of snakes it up, and then she gets a third hula hoop, and then a fourth, and so by then the wine is all gone. So now a gentleman comes out, and he gives her all of these hula hoops, and there must have been about 20 hula hoops, and she was whirling them all at the same time. I was a little girl, we used to do this all the time. I could do this by the hour. And now we don't need a hula hoop, we have the Wii Fitness. And you can just whirl that hula hoop around and it doesn't, we don't have to worry about it falling down because I can't keep a hula hoop up now. It just kind of falls down. Okay, change directions, roll the hips the other way. but it's also really good for the back because it helps loosen up the lower back when you've been sitting for very long. This really helps get the back, the chi moving up and down through the body because when you're sitting, the chi doesn't move up and down through the body. Okay, let's move up to the shoulders. Well, pull the shoulders up to your ears, breathe in.
principles we use in Tai Chi is repetition. We aren't counting the movements. We're just moving and breathing. And let's tilt our ear to our shoulder, come up to the center and tilt it to the other side. This is such a good exercise because it helps stretch the side of the neck. Our neck moves in a lot of different directions during the day, but we don't get to stretch it to the side very much. By repeating the movements over and over and over again, we don't, there's only a few exercises where we actually count the number of repetitions. Because if we're counting, our brains are active. We want our brains to be still and quiet. Because as we go through the process of the class, we're balancing everything from the top of our head down to our toes. We're taking the energy from the heavens, the yang energy, the energy from the earth, the yin energy. The yang energy is a male energy. The yin energy is a female energy. It's the earth energy. And we're pulling chi, chi is energy, from the heaven and earth into our body to bring everything into balance. Let's roll our chin across our chest. Very gently roll our chin across the chest. Yeah, I was here a couple of years ago or so. Yeah, I know you've been coming. 
Well, I'm glad you're back, and we're glad to have you with us. Just relax, let everything go, let go of all that stress. One more on each side. We're stretching everything sideways. We're making more room. You know, organs and glands and blood vessels. We're making more room for nutrients. Okay. That's a warm-up. Is everybody warm? Okay, now we're going to be getting with our Qigong exercises. Qigong exercises, Qi means energy, and Gong, G-O-N-G, means control or master of the movement. So we're going to start swirling the energy around. It's right in our Dantian right now, kind of in our hip area. So we're going to bend our knees. This is what we call a kind of like shoulder width apart. And we just bend our knees. This is a basic stance. It's a horse stance. It's a basic fighting stance because if someone runs at you and is going to try to attack you, you just move out of the way and off they go. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend our knees, get into a nice horse stance. And ladies, the very center of our energy is our dantian. It's two fingers below the belly button. So ladies put their left hand over that area and the right hand on top. Because we have the yin energy, the earth energy. Guys do just the opposite. They put the right hand over that area and then the left hand on top. Because you have the yang energy, the heaven energy. We have different energies, so we do things just a little bit different. This is Dantian. It's for our vital essence, it's the very center of our energy. And the purpose of Qigong exercises is to move that chi around the body, up, down, all around, to heal and nourish everything. So we're going to lean over one knee and roll it to the center. Lean over the other knee and roll it toward the center. We're just going to make a figure eight with our hips. Or if you were a train and you had your little light on you, you'd be shining up from side to side. So that you don't hit any little critters on the tracks. So we're starting to roll the energy around. And we're going to bring our arms up. Even though we aren't moving our arms, the upper part of our body is moving because everything is moved by the Dantian. So that's why we start out just start the very first exercise is just kind of rolling the chi around through the Dantian area. The back part of the Dantian are the kidneys, which are very important in Chinese medicine. Okay, this is called monkey stirs of soup. It's like making two circles. We're stirring a big pot of soup. Okay, we're surrounded by chi. Open up your palms, pull it into your body. We want to keep our heels on the ground so that we're able to pull all the energy possible up into our bodies from the earth. Just relax. Let everything go. Slow the movements down. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Slow it down even more. As we slow the movements down, we're letting go of the stress. It's so important to let go of stress because stress causes all kinds of illnesses. And I just got a copy of the ARP in the new ARP magazine. They said that stress is, it's a study by, um, I think like one of the big universities, Stanford University. And they said that when women get together, we create serotonin and we let go of the stress. And when we do Tai Chi, when we just relax, and let our minds be still and quiet. We slow things down. We're letting go of the stress. So we're not only using the exercises, the Qigong exercises, to heal and nourish everything. It's also helping to de-stress our lives. It's so important to take time every day to be still. 
still and quiet. Have a cup of something nice and warm to drink. Just to be still and quiet. I have a hard time with that because I teach Tai Chi and I should be the most relaxed person in the world. But I do not sit well and so if I'm sitting I have to be knitting. I'm okay if I'm sitting and knitting, but if I just have to sit, it's very difficult for me. And so we went up to Lava Hot Springs over the weekend. And what do you do when you're in the hot tubs? You can't knit in the hot tubs. So you have to be still and let everything go. So I had a really good lesson on how to just be still and quiet this weekend. So important just to take time every day to let go of the stress. Okay, and let's bring it to a close. This is what we call the elephant stretch. Two on one side, two on the other, two in the middle with both hands. The first exercise we did was called Monkey Stirs a Soup, which is a strange name for an exercise but it's been translated from Chinese into English. And sometimes when things are translated from one language to another, they, you kind of lose the meaning. This is a very, this exercise makes sense. It's called the elephant stretch. And our arms are like lovely elephant trunks. And we're stretching the chi up through the body to heal and nourish all the organs and glands and blood vessels and everything from the top of our head down to our toes. This is one of the few exercises that we do where we actually count. But after you've done it a couple of times, it's like if you do two on one side and three on the other, it doesn't matter. The goal is to pull the chi, to stretch the chi up through the body. There's 12 meridians that go up the front of the body and 12 that go down the back. They're little lines of energy. And as we do the different exercises, we're clearing the blockages in those meridians that take place when we get upset or bend the wrong way. A lot of different reasons for blockages in the meridians. But as we stretch the energy up and move it all around the body, we're freeing up the blockages in those meridians so the chi moves up and down through the body to heal and nourish. Remember your breathing. Breathe in as your hand goes up and out as it floats down. If you're a little wobbly, then put your foot down. Otherwise, 
guys to spin down towards the foot. up and out as it goes down. The breathing is so important. The breathing and the movement are like twins. This is also another exercise. It's a very crane-like exercise because it's like a crane bending down to get a drink of water. This is especially designed to help our balance. But when we do our different exercises, they're nourishing and toning the whole body. So it's not like one exercise only works on one part of our body. If someone asks you what Tai Chi does for you, what is the answer? Everything! It's one of the most complete exercises we can do because we're balancing the body, mind, and the spirit. And it's something that gives us tools we can use anytime heal and nourish our bodies to help us relax. Okay, last one. Let's switch sides. Breathe in as your hand goes up and out as it goes down. And listen to your body. Only bend as far as your body says it's okay. And Tai Chi, it's very important to listen to your body. If something hurts, then don't back off a little bit. Don't bend quite so deep. The goal is to strengthen and tone our bodies to bring everything into balance. Because we're in that, when we're in balance, our whole body works better. Strengthens our eyes because we're gazing from side to side. Just take your time. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's do one more on each side. Okay, let's bring it to a close. Just put your, let's do our bow and arrow. Pull the ball, there's different names for it. Just kind of move, move, move your, your feet out to shoulder width. One hand goes out, and we're going to reach across the chest. And it's like we're pulling the strings at the bottom. We're going to shoot the ball. And then we're going to get another arrow. We're going to pull the strings across the chest and shoot the arrow. And we get another arrow, pull the strings. Shoot Pull the strings and shoot the air. This is a really good exercise for the heart and the lungs because we're crossing the heart and the lung meridians. They go from the tip of the fingers to right here. And so as we're touching our arm, we're activating the heart and the lung meridians. The heart helps us adjust to the change in weather. It's supposed to be 50 degrees this afternoon, 60 tomorrow. Breathe 
in and out. And as the temperature goes up and down, our bodies have a hard time adjusting to it. So the heart helps us adjust to those changes. And the lungs are very important too because right now there's a lot of stuff in the air. Maybe people have colds, they have sinus. So this helps strengthen our lungs. Let's do one more on each side. And let that arrow just fly away. Okay, here comes a, a fun part. This looks strange. We're just going to bounce up and down and move our hands. This is going to increase our heart rate. This is called the wave, and I learned it from a Tai Chi master from Hawaii. And you want to vibrate, move your hands as fast as you can. With me, this is how my rate, some people are faster. When I did the, when I took the, the workshop, they were going like crazy. It's like, I'm sorry, I can't move that fast. And so we each have our own inner rhythm. But this is such a wonderful exercise because it's increasing our heartbeat without running around the block or going any place. Okay, up to your shoulders. And you gotta bounce up and down too. helps increase the heart rate too. Okay, and then up above your head. Remember, listen to your body. If you have problems with your shoulders, just keep it lower. So, but this makes our bodies work really hard. Our heart, this makes our heart beat really fast because it has to pump chi and energy and nutrients in our hands, which are above our hands. Okay, down to your shoulders. just hang by your side. Hopefully they're tingly. It's not just in our hands, we just flooded our whole body with chi, with energy. So let's bring our hands close together. And after a few minutes, you can feel the heat between your hands. That heat is chi. That's our life force. It's our energy. If they took an x-ray of us right now, our bodies would be glowing with energy with chi. And we can feel that life force between our hands. We're going to stretch the energy and let it contract. Breathe in. Just let everything go. If thoughts come into your mind, just acknowledge them and let them float away. This is a time when we don't have to think about anything. We're in the process of bringing everything into balance in the body. And after a few times, we know our brain knows how to do it. Our bodies, our muscles have muscle memory. So we really don't have to do anything but move and breathe. This is a really good exercise for meditation. Sitting, standing. The goal is just to be still and quiet. Breathe. And if you have a hard time with meditation, the way we get around that is to focus on our breathing. Breathing in through our nose.
turn our hands over, roll our chi ball. It's a ball of energy. And we're going to press down with the bottom hand up with the top hand. Turn the hands over. Pull more chi into your body from the heaven and earth. We'll roll it around and switch hands so the other hand is on top. We press down with the bottom hand up with the top. We pull chi from the heaven and earth into a ball. Every time we gather more energy, more chi into our ball. because you're bowing to an imaginary opponent who might sneak up on you. So we want to keep our eye on them, that imaginary person. So we bow, we roll our shoulders back, we bend our knee, and then we peel the left foot. I'm doing it backwards. Um, we just kind of settle in. We get into a nice horse stance. And it's like we have this great big ball, and we're going to roll our hands up in front of it and down the back. I'm going to turn sideways. Don't you guys do that. You're very perceptive. You're, you're great at following what I do. But if you notice, my back is straight. It's like a string of curls. My hands are going up the front of the ball and down the back. The knees are moving and straightening. My chin is just kind of level. Chi. This is a Chen style. 
developed by the Chin family in the 1200s. And it's a form of opposites. We have soft movements, and we also have hard movements. So we could go very softly up and then wham! Or we could go up with our hands with force. That's a hard movement. So we have soft movements. Normally we just do the soft movements. The Tai Chi is also the Chin style. It's a form where you have very slow movements, not as slow as a young style. styles of Tai Chi. The goal is to bring everything into balance, to move and stretch, strengthen the body, bring everything into balance. It's so important. And let's make our ball in front. The ball is a transition piece. It's a thing that connects all of the different movements. We're going to reach across the body and look at the palm. The hand is going to come and it's going to float down. So then we reach across with the other one, and it floats down. And the way we could use this to protect ourselves is if someone was trying to punch us, we would just move their arm out of the way. And it's not just moving the hands in front, it's the whole body. So we can turn to the side because somebody might be coming be attacking us from that side. They could be coming at us from all different directions. This is called cloud hand. So imagine your cloud floating in the sky. Little wispy clouds, maybe great big white clouds. Floating along. Remember your breathing. is just as important as the movement. our ball in front. So the next part is we're going to pet the horse. Show everybody our ball and drop it into the bottom hand. Pet the horse. Show everybody our ball and drop it into the bottom hand. Horse. Show everybody our ball. Remember to breathe. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You do it a couple of times, then your brain kind of figures out how to do it, you remember how to do it, your muscles remember. So just relax, breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. And you can take any part of this form turn it into a Qigong exercise just by repeating it over and over and over again. The goal through repetition is to let our minds be quiet, to move and breathe. And as we repeat the movement over and over again, it brings us to that point of balance where everything is relaxed and everything is Positive energy attracts positive energy. Like energy, it's a rule of physics that like energy attracts like energy. So it's very important to bring in, have everything in balance. Because when more balanced chances are, those people around us will also be balanced. And if they're not, that's not something we can help. But we can we to bring everything into balance. It's not always going to stay that way. Life gets in the way. But the more we are
are familiar with this feeling, balance it easier just to slip into that place. Okay, one more. Turn that hand over, bring the other hand up. We press down, bring the left leg back in. Wow. And that's kind of basically the form with a lot of repetitions. So we're going to go through it now, wiggle your feet a little bit. If we're doing something and your feet get a little tired or sore, just kind of wiggle them around a little bit. So the, we're going to pull our shoulders back and we're going to bow. We roll the shoulders back and we're going to peel the foot up off of the floor. And then we're going to roll our ball up and down one time. We're going to make our ball in front. We're going to do cloud hands six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Bring the ball back to the front. We're going to pat the floor, show everybody your ball, drop it into the bottom hand. We do this three times, so this is two and three. Bring that hand up, turn the other hand over. And that is just part of the form. There's also feet with it. And there's probably three or more, three or four more pieces that go with it. But let's do it one more time and bow. And as adults, we forget the way we learn is through repetition. We do something over and over again. And that's how we learn. Oh dear, we've done two. So let's make our ball. Y'all know that it's only one time. Two, three, four, five, and six. Bring the ball back to the front. Cut the horse once, twice, and three times. Turn the hand over, bring the other hand up. Press down, bring the foot and down. Okay, so this time, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna do it. I'm not gonna talk to you. And so, listen to the music, move with the music. If you're not doing the same thing as I am, it's okay, because this is your class. I can show you how to do it, and then you can do whatever you want, because I'm not gonna tell anybody, and I'm the only one that can see you. The goal is to move and breathe and relax, listen to the music, move with the music become part of the music. Switch sides, pull the other arm across. 
And when I turned 50, I decided I was going to do some of the things I've always wanted to do. And I thought Tai Chi looked, I thought Tai Chi looked like something that I could do for a long time because there were little old people doing it. And so it's like, I can do this for quite a while. So that was, I just started with the idea of exercising because I didn't exercise well on my own. And if I just planned it into my schedule, because it's so important, exercise should be at the top of your list. Okay, here's the best part. Wrap your right arm around the top, left arm around the bottom. Give yourself a pat and a hug for being here and doing such a good job. But my mom, when I was a little girl, always watched Jack Lane. She exercised with him faithfully on TV. And so Jack turned 96 last year, and he passed away. But he didn't die because his body failed. He died of pneumonia. So that's something that can affect a lot of people. But one of the things he said was that exercise is the king, nutrition is the queen, and the kingdom is your body. So the things that you do to nourish and strengthen your body with exercise are going to, do, are going to determine how well you manage, how you feel. Okay, lace your fingers and back and just lift up. Stretching, this is a really good opportunity to focus on your breathing. Usually you hold a stretch for about 30 seconds, so that's about three breaths in and out. Okay, let's switch sides, left arm around the top, right arm around the bottom. Give yourself a pat and a hug. that you don't get dizzy. So just kind of start out with your hands on your knees to see how your, your, how your balance is. Sometimes when you put your head down below, lower than your trunk, you get dizzy. Okay, bend your knees, let your head come up slowly, rub those kidneys, and lean back. Since this is our kidney stretch, it's important to remember that because our bodies are 70% water, it's important to drink lots of liquids. Water, juice, it, coffee, it all counts. Not so much soda pop, because the body has to work really hard to metabolize everything. Even if you drink the diet soda pop, it still have, your body still has to metabolize the carbonation. Forward. If you want to extend the exercise to the floor, just be careful you don't get dizzy. Come up slowly, let your head come up slowly, rub your kidneys and lean back. It's really important to remember that sometimes if we're hungry, or we get a headache, or our stomach is upset, it's because we're dehydrated. So the first thing to do is have a drink of water. And you don't have to drink one of those great big honk 12 ounce glasses of water. <coughs> if you have a little juice glass, that's eight ounces of water. And so every time you go by the sink, have a drink of water. Or juice, whatever you happen to enjoy. And you can drink your soda pop in moderation. So 
You can eat or drink just about anything you want as long as you use some common sense. We usually try to watch what we eat during the week so that on the weekend I can eat fried shrimp. So, okay, one more time. This is a really good exercise to do not only for the kidneys, but it also helps stretch out the back. When you do it, you should do it at least three times. More is better, but three will kind of help get those kidneys working better. Okay, you shake your head back and forth now? And up and down, yes. This kind of helps loosen up the neck a little more. Okay, bend your knees, let your head come up slowly, rub those kidneys, and lean back. This is a good exercise to stretch the legs out before you go walking. It regulates the heat in the body, so if you get a chill, it's really important to warm the body up as quickly as possible, so have something warm to drink, wrap up in your blanket, or do this exercise five times on each side. It will really help warm you up. So it's a good exercise to do before you go walking. The body is a little lower to warm the body up, stretch the legs out. And then after you get walking, the body is higher. We use it this, to, this exercise to cool the body down. So our bodies are a little higher. Kind of helps stretch things out. stance and hug our tree. Focus on your breathing. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Think about how you feel. It's like everything is balanced, your body, mind, and spirit. Take this feeling of balance with you as you got into your week, got into your day. And if you start to get worried, or nervous or upset, stop for a minute and take three good breaths. It's going to relax you, bring things back into balance. And remember, the more we breathe, the stronger our immune system is. So whenever you think about it, take three good breaths. When you're watching TV, working at the computer, just hanging out, every so often, take three good breaths. It's going to make you feel better and relax you, give you more energy. So let's take one big breath and exhale. Number two big breaths and exhale. Number three, breathe in all the way up to the top of your head. And exhale all the way down your toes. And bow to myself and to each other. Thank you all so much for coming. It's really good to see all of you.